Shadow Hack Chapter 431, The Horror of Forgetting Thinking about the two points, Li Yunmu's brain almost broke apart, but he still couldn't imagine an entity which would be able to neglect the rules laid down by an ancient god and arrange his world's territory. This point isn't something impossible. As long as the latter person possessed absolute power, it could be easily accomplished the system suddenly sent out, astonishing Li Yunmu. Impossible. It wasn't like his thoughts hadn't went along those lines, but he couldn't believe that it was possible. What sort of existence was an ancient god? Yet the system surprisingly said that there was an entity which far surpassed an ancient god, to the extent that it could neglect the rules of the other's world. In this world, nothing is impossible. For example, do you remember that enormous dragon which looked like a mountain range when you descended? The system indifferently presented him with an example. And Li Yunmi once again remembered the time when he had just descended and seen the enormous mountain which seemed boundless at first glance but was actually the corpse of a dragon who had died many years ago. He had forgotten about that region in his travels after. No one in the origin world talked about that place, or maybe they hadn't discovered it. But perhaps it would be best to say that no one dared to venture into that region. Even if they knew that it was full of important secrets. When the system gave the analogy of the enormous dragon, Li Yunmu suddenly gained a hint of understanding that his worldview was extremely narrow. Given the system's analogy, everything became easier to understand. Apparently the cave was an existence independent of the island. This, of course, raised a new question, if he couldn't approach the human emperor, how could he uncover its secret? For a period of time, Li Yunmu was trapped in a circle of his thoughts. Although he had been able to snatch Zheng Quan's target, he couldn't find any way to eat it. However, he wasn't willing to give up. Time kept passing slowly in the mausoleum. After a long while had passed, the eleventh shadow suddenly came near Li Yunmu and transmitted a message. Once he received it, he was completely shaken by its contents. He slapped his forehead as he had finally found a method with which he could proceed. While he had been pondering about the issue, he had completely neglected Ye Yan's group. The eleventh shadow had kept on following them, but since the system had determined the goal of their journey, Li Yunmu had quickly forgotten about it. Because of that, he hadn't expected that he would receive the most crucial piece of information from the four cannon fodders. The eleventh shadow had informed him that Ye Yan and his group had decided to turn back. Why were the four cannon fodders returning? The reason was very simple they had collapsed mentally. They had been walking forward into the depths of the cave in a straight path without a single side branch and had experienced all sorts of mental torments. Finally, a dispute arose among them, for they couldn't help becoming suspicious of their surroundings. After they had walked for thirteen days without break and still hadn't found any sign of the end, they began to mentally collapse. The journey of 768 kilometers in the unchanging cave had broken them. They no longer had the tenacity and curiosity they possessed at the start of the journey. Although they didn't dare to turn back because of fear of being made eat coconut every day, they also didn't have any desire to walk down the path which seemed endless. While they were on the verge of mental collapse, the one called Fang Ming had cursed, what nonsense path of heaven. That devil is a cheater. Li Yunmu instantly caught the crux of that man's line. Why was he cursing in such a manner? Clearly, when they had come into the cave the first time, they had obtained some information. Li Yunmu could then understand why they had been excited about the prospect of entering the cave again. Lock the four of them individually. As to that one called Fang Ming, pay special attention to him. Li Yunmu instantly made his decision. It was clear to him that Fang Ming was the weakest link among the four. And since he had already ascertained that the four of them knew something, it was time to make them spit out the secret one by one, or use force to extort a confession if they weren't collaborating. Ling Feng accepted the orders without a word and led seven shadows to intercept the group. When Li Yunmu looked at the time, he suddenly realized that thirteen days had passed since he had entered the mausoleum. Cold sweat ran down his back when he noticed it. System, 
why did I sense that only half a day had passed while two weeks had passed in the outside world? Are you sure that you haven't counted the time wrong? System isn't wrong. Originally it also had this suspicion, but it has a new conjunction about the fact that this region possesses an unprecedented force field. It can cause anyone to forget everything while focusing on a task. They will forget to eat and even forget about the passage of time. Ding, emergency alert, an unknown terrifying force field has been discovered. Suggesting host to leave immediately. The next second, the system awakened and released a red alert. Then let's go, let's leave this damned region before talking more about it. Without the slightest hesitation, Li Yunmu left the Emperor's mausoleum. A force field which could distort a person's sense of time was far too frightening. If it wasn't for the eleventh shadow which had coincidentally come to report back, Li Yunmu probably would have needed a lot more time to wake up from his thoughts. Without influence from the outside world, perhaps he might have even forgotten about everything while pondering until he died of old age. After returning back to the surface, Li Yunmu breathed a sigh of relief. He then quickly withdrew from the strange cave. He finally clearly understood the reason behind the unwillingness of the insects to step inside the cave. When he came out, El Yuzhong, Wang Aryu, and He Miao were waiting for him. They had stayed there for a long time, for it had been full twenty days since he had stepped into the cave, and during all of it, there had been no news from him. After a few more days, Ye Yan's group were escorted outside the cave by Li Feng and the seven shadows which had went with him. Shadows didn't know fatigue and didn't have any emotions like humans. Because of that, their speed of traveling within the cave was naturally higher than that of Ye Yan's group. Lock each of them separately and cross-examine them. If even one of them says something different from the others, I will throw them into a group of ghost spiders who will make them wish they were dead, Li Yunmu said in a freezing voice. Chapter 432, The True Secret Li Yunmu had been merciful before. He had given an opportunity to the four of them to come clean, but they had concealed the most important information obtained from the cave, because of which he had almost gotten trapped in there. After they, they only deserved his most cruel side. He Miao and the others who heard Li Yunmu's command felt a chill. In their world, dying wasn't something frightening but rather the way one died. If they were thrown into a group of ghost spiders, those creatures wouldn't eat them right away, but would instead lay down countless eggs within their body. Those eggs would give birth to countless small ghost spiders in a matter of days. They would move around the host's body and use their flesh as well as blood as food for their growth. They would nibble on the host's flesh every second of every day, and the person would stay alive through it all. Their end would only come when the countless small ghost spiders crawled out of their bodies. Thump! Fang Ming fell on his knees. He was the person with the weakest willpower among the four, and they had just left the cave without any end, so he was already near mental collapse. So when he heard Li Yunmu's merciless command, he couldn't help but kneel on the ground and plead for his life. I will speak, I will tell everything, all you want to know. I only request that you give me a good death. Li Yunmu didn't make any movements but repeated with an indifferent face, take all of them away. If any one of their accounts is different, carry out the sentence. He needed to show some ruthlessness on this matter. And besides, he didn't need to use any extraordinary measures to deal with the four turncoats in front of him nor did he want to waste extra time on them. Fang Ming had already broken, so even if the other three gave an unanimous false account, it would be meaningless. After all, Li Yunmi wasn't a fair judge who needed proof. He only needed to know what secrets and harvests they had obtained when they had entered the cave the first time. Finished, everything is finished. Ye Yan's face was deathly pale. At that moment, he finally experienced the pain of having pig teammates in his group. His strength was only mediocre in the group with people like Zhang Yuan, Zhang Chuan, and Li Yunmu standing at the top, so he had been an inconspicuous existence. If Fang Ming hadn't mentally collapsed at that moment and lost his bearings which also influenced the other two members of the squad, Ye Yan might have even made a comeback. Just a little more and I would have been the real winner, 
Ye Yan thought to himself. In the end, he hardened his resolve and obediently shared all the secrets from their first trip that he had concealed before. By then, he didn't have any other thoughts besides wanting a good death. Li Yunmu also wasn't a petty person and immediately commanded the shadows to kill the four without torturing them. The proceedings had taught him that even if the land was under his control and even if the enemy's strength was far lower than his, he couldn't be careless and give an opportunity to them. Ye Yan and the other three might have been just minor characters, but they had almost made a comeback. When Li Yunmu matched the confessions of the four, he found that they were almost identical, with only some minor differences. It showed up that on the third day after entering the cave for the first time, they had discovered a fist-sized pathfinder wasp. It was different from the others since it was emitting traces of black mist from its body and could also mentally communicate with the group. In human words, it had spoken to them. As long as you can reach the end of the cave, you will be able to reopen the channel to the outside world by using the method which I will tell you now. When Ye Yan and the others heard it, they were extremely excited. But because Li Yunmu hadn't provided them with enough food and water that time, they couldn't continue for long and soon had to turn around. Thus, although they wished to escape from the island, they were helpless in front of their circumstances and could only return back. But they hadn't expected that the opportunity they had been waiting for would appear in no time once more. Before long, Li Yunmu had surprisingly asked them to enter the cave once more, and he even urged them to go farther. He also provided them with a large amount of food and water. But more often than not, reality is different from imagination. Ye Yan and the other three hadn't expected that even after walking for more than ten days, they still wouldn't be able to read the end, which caused suspicion to take root in their hearts and ruin their plan in a while. So the Pathfinder Wasp I released before had been possessed by the will of the master of the cave. After hearing their account, Li Yunmu felt a chill go down his spine. From their words, one thing became certain to him, and it was that a sinister will existed in the depths of this cave. It had probably belonged to the master of the cave, but that raised a lot of questions. The will had first possessed the body of Pathfinder Wasp then tried to entice Ye Yan and the others to reach the bottom of the cave, but could it really open the passage to the outside world as it claimed? If not, then what was the objective of that will luring people to the depths of the cave? But Li Yunmu didn't believe that it could open the passage to the outside world. On top of that, there was another unanswered question why hadn't that will tried to possess Li Yunmu who was the true master of the island? The reason is quite simple, because host possesses the protection of goddess Medusa's will. The will in the cave should be in a greatly weakened state, so it didn't dare to have any designs on host the system replied. Li Yunmu immediately understood its words. His strength was extremely profound, and he possessed his own heavenly world as well as Azure Dragon Deity Battlesuit. His shadow Li Yun was the successor of the island, and there was still the little shadow ancestor. It hadn't appeared since it had entered Goddess Medusa's scale which was in his heavenly world. Then that malicious will needs to be worried about us and not the other way round. Chapter 433, One Turn 10,000 Restrictions Yes, according to the analysis of all the data gathered, the remnant will in the cave wanted to encourage Ye Yan and the others to break some kind of seal and thus allow it to leave the cave or even this dimensional space to begin a new life the system explained. Then it would eliminate our previous guess that this remnant will belong to the master of the cave. The system calmly analyzed everything and replied, Yes. If it had been a will of that level, even if it was just a remnant will, it still wouldn't need to worry about Goddess Medusa's will. It is very likely that the remnant will belong to a destroyed mortal soul which had been trapped here long before we intruded upon this place. The system and Li Yunmu kept making their deductions until they came to a unanimous conclusion. Then we could just follow with the method of the remnant will without being worried about it. If we are mistaken, we could just adapt on the way. Gradually, Li Yunmi reached a decision in his heart. It seemed that he could determine whether the cave contained any secret and whether the method described by the will could truly open the passage to the outside world only by testing it. Li Yunmi was aware that after Li Yun obtained the inheritance and acknowledgement of the island master, 
he should have also gained the ability to open the passage to the outside world. But he couldn't do so until his skill reached a certain level. A successor of a dimensional space couldn't even open a passage to the outside world what sort of preposterous affair was that? But it was exactly what was happening. Why? Li Yunmiu could only think of one possibility which was that the master of the underground cave had used his mighty power to forcefully seal off the dimensional space from the outside world. That emperor didn't want anyone to intrude on the cave as he didn't want a pigeon to occupy a sparrow's nest. Or perhaps his goal behind sealing the dimensional space was to conceal his secret. Regardless of whether it was the former or the latter, his methods and abilities were heaven-shaking. Given that even Li Yun who was the inheritor couldn't open the passage to the origin world, Li Yunmiu had no option but to proceed according to the method given by the remnant will. For his next expedition, he prepared even more thoroughly, and once more entered the cave. The difference compared to last time was that he didn't take his shadows with him. He only took Li Yun while the other ten were to stay at the entrance of the cave. He instructed them to send one of their group down every five days. This measure would make sure that Li Yunmiu didn't forget time and got trapped in the force field for all eternity. Since the beetle had already dug the path, he didn't need much time to reach the mausoleum. But this time, he wasn't completely directionless like before. He coldly sneered and first walked toward the several thousand insect sculptures. Left side, 7th row, 65th column N, found it. Li Yunmiu followed the directions given by the remnant Wu to Yan's group and began to peer at the insect defender. It was a three-meter tall creature with the head of a human and the body of a snake. It held a deathly sickle in its hand and had a savage expression on its face. But that wasn't important. Li Yunmiu quickly moved behind the sculpture and began to search its back. Suddenly, the sound of a mechanism being activated echoed through the underground mausoleum. As the remnant will had informed Ye Yan's group, Li Yunmiu found the button to trigger the mechanism on the back portion of the insect sculpture. He opened it, revealing the slot embedded in the back. Inside it was a pearl. After observing it, he discovered a lot of energy fluctuations within it. Li Yunmiu faintly smiled and pressed his fingers on the pearl, pushing it inside. Surprisingly, he had to use a large amount of strength to do it. According to his analysis, it definitely couldn't be pushed in without pressing it with a force less than that of 15 oxen. In other words, even if ordinary people knew about the method, they still couldn't do anything about it. But for Li Yunmiu, it wasn't much. He lightly pressed on it, and next instant, the eyes of the snake man began to shine. A red light was released from its pupils. It fell on the ground in the vicinity of the human emperor forming a bizarre runic symbol. Seeing the effects, Li Yunmiu knew that it was the method to break through the emperor's mausoleum. With his keen sixth sense, he sensed that there were very minute fluctuations at a place not far from him. Those fluctuations were very anxious and wrathful. It was truly like that. When Li Yunmiu had executed the method he had learned from Ye Yan, the remnant will hidden in the mausoleum began to grow anxious. Its mindless fluctuations finally allowed Li Yunmiu to sense its existence. Naturally, if Li Yunmiu had chosen the Shadow Devil skill when the system had upgraded to the sixth level, then using the Light Shadow Devil, he could have found the existence of the Remnant will a lot easier. But since he had already chosen the development of the research ability, he could only rely on his senses which may not produce the best results every time. He didn't pay attention to the Remnant will though but quickly began to move. Right side, 13th row, 26th column, that is you. Oh God, you are really savage. Soon, Li Yunmiu found the second sculpture. He then used the same method as before. Another ray of light was emitted from the monster sculpture at that moment, which also fell in the vicinity of the emperor, forming the second runic symbol. Third was south side, 19th row, and second column. Fourth was west side, 36th row, and 78th column. Fifth, sixth, seventh Li Yunmiu moved through the mausoleum like it was his home his movements growing increasingly quicker and his tempo faster. The mental fluctuations of remnant will were also growing more anxious. 
soon, it was unable to remain tolerant and tried to do its utmost to stop Li Yunmu. When Li Yunmu used the same method on the seventh sculpture and was about to press the pearl, the remnant will took action. A sinister gale rushed through the space with unimaginable speed and pounced on Li Yunmu. At that moment, Li Yunmu who had been about to calmly press on the pearl turned around and said, One turn, ten thousand restrictions. With his words, an enormous void disc suddenly showed up. Chapter 434, Legend or Folktale The void disc had showed up once more after a long time. The item which was known as the Transcending Sage Tool on Earth had taken stage only a few times. Although it hadn't shown any great abilities, it was mainly due to Li Yunmu's low cultivation. The last time he'd used it was when he was trying to capture Devil. At that time, even with Devil's cultivation, Li Yunmu had only been able to restrict him for a split second. In truth, Void Disc had another great ability, which was to confine all virtual existences. And the vengeful will which couldn't control itself and had attacked Li Yunmu had knocked against an iron plate. Since one turn could break 10,000 restrictions, that one turn could also create 10,000 restrictions. This law was effective against all sorts of demonic and nefarious spirits as well as remnant wills of living organisms. Regardless of how formidable they've been before, they wouldn't be able to escape no matter what. Since they had lost the defense of a natural barrier called corporeal body, there was nothing that could protect them from void disc. Capture it for me. Li Yunmu ordered it loudly. The enlarged void disc slowly turned in space, and instantly the demon-shaped organism which had bared its fangs and was pouncing on Li Yunmu was captured in the void. It was only ten meters away from Li Yunmu, and given that it was a weightless remnant will, it would have only needed 0.1 seconds to cover that distance. But Li Yunmu didn't give it the opportunity. He collected the void disc which had again turned small and turned it in reverse, releasing the vengeful will in his heavenly world. Congratulations host for the enormous harvest. The vengeful will you just captured is actually a wisp of deity soul which is extremely rare the system immediately notified him. It actually a deity soul. Li Yunmu's heart turned cold. Although he was extremely happy, he was still extremely astonished by the turn of events. It is indeed a deity soul. A wisp of remnant deity soul, but even so. It is still an extremely bountiful harvest the system said with extreme certainty. Astonishment did not leave Li Yunmu's face. He had never thought that he would actually encounter a deity soul in the cave. Even if it was just a wisp of deity soul, it was still enough to be considered an extremely bountiful harvest. In truth, after obtaining the information from Yuyan and the others, Li Yunmu had begun to make plans to capture the remnant will. Just then, while he had been activating the mechanisms of the Guardian sculptures, he'd acted like he wasn't concerned about anything, but in fact, he had already secretly arranged the void disc so it could be used at a moment's notice. Otherwise, how could it have trapped the deity soul the instant it approached Li Yunmu? He had gambled there on the remnant will's bottom line, that after it was crossed, it wouldn't care about the things like fear and would attack him anyway. And sure enough, when the final guardian sculpture was about to be activated and light up the red light to form the rune, the remnant will couldn't control itself and finally appeared. It then proceeded to walk straight into Li Yunmu's trap. After successfully capturing and placing the remnant will into his heavenly wood, Li Yunmu didn't pay attention to it any longer. He continued where he had left off previously in his work with the sculptures and pressed the pearl on the seventh guardian. Instantly, it joined the other six red light rays and fell in the vicinity of the Emperor's body. Seven Fiend Space Breaking Formation At that moment, a powerful and majestic voice which seemed to be coming from the Emperor but also from all the surroundings echoed in the cave. It didn't enter through Li Yin Mu's ears, but had directly invaded his brain. After hearing the voice, Li Yun Mu was certain that the system's previous deduction had been correct. The voice which had seemingly come from the depths of the mausoleum was the voice of the master of the cave. In other words, the majestic figure whose strength Li Yunmu couldn't even imagine and who had ignored the rules of the dimensional space and established his cave in it. 
as for the remnant will which had previously tried to attack Li Yun Mu, at most, it was the remnant will of an ancient god who had intruded and gotten trapped. So this method is called Seven Fiend Space Breaking Formation. Li Yun Mu was watching everything with fascination. At that moment, the formation had been unleashed, and the whole cave was completely illuminated. At the same time, the system did its utmost to record everything regarding the Seven Fiend Space Breaking Formation without any kind of mistake. How is the recording going? Li Yun Mu asked to relieve his anxiousness. The recording is proceeding without any hitch 87% of the process has been recorded. Only some details are left which haven't been researched meticulously, but they aren't important. As long as the system is given some time to analyze it, within less than a few months, the system will be able to create the spatial formation. The system's voice sounded much more excited compared to its usual one. Even if Li Yunmu didn't obtain anything else, the wisp of deity soul which he had captured as well as the system being able to record an extremely high-level spatial formation would be more than enough of a reward for his efforts. Good, truly excellent. While Li Yunmu and the system were celebrating, Seven Fiend Space Breaking Formation began showing its effects. Each of the red light which formed a rune was simultaneously reflected on the large pearl in the hand of the human emperor. Instantly, that item which was identified by the system to possess a large amount of spatial energy emitted a divine light which curtained the whole cave. Li Yunmu wasn't able to remain unaffected and was instantly enveloped as well. When his vision cleared up, he discovered that he was no longer in the emperor's mausoleum in the cave, but instead in a white platform created from special materials which was floating in the void. The floating platform was extremely similar to the sacrificial ones since it had a tribute at the center. But that wasn't too important. The thing which captured Li Yunmu as well as system's complete attention was the void which filled the space around the platform. Far into the distance, Li Yunmu could see an unprecedentedly mystical scene even with a naked eye. Chapter 435, Problem with His Earth The scene Li Yunmu saw resembled that from a legend or a folktale. But it wasn't just a vision but reality in front of his eyes. At the edges of the void in all directions, there were 66 spherical objects. They were revolving around the white platform according to some sort of law. At first, Li Yunmu couldn't understand what they were, but when he carefully analyzed them, he began to make out some things. The spherical objects were surprisingly the 66 parallel planes. Li Yunmu's eyes fell upon a familiar yet unfamiliar spherical object among them. It was his homeland, the 55th Earth. Surprisingly, a number was etched on the surface of each spherical object. It was too shocking. It was Li Yunmu's first time seeing his native plane in space. What are these, system? He asked in a low voice. Although he knew it in his heart, he didn't dare to believe the scene which was in front of him in the void. This should be the heavenly path which has been mentioned in some ancient texts. The system wasn't completely certain about its deduction. The truly astonishing thing was the energy being emitted by the 66 parallel planes surrounding Li Yunmu from all sides. Some of the earths were enveloped by a thick purplish red cloud. It was a lot thinner around some, and their vitality seemed to be much weaker compared to the other planets. But a number of planes didn't have any purple cloud and were only surrounded by the red one. Their vitality seemed much more calmer and weaker than that of the others. There were also some planes which not only had the red cloud and purple clouds, but also some black mist. The area covered by it wasn't large, but it was quite conspicuous. Just looking at it could make a person unhappy and desire to stay away from it. Li Yunmu's homeland, the 55th Earth was, of course, one of such planes. The black energy made Li Yunmu uncomfortable. Once it had landed on a plane, it could never be removed and would continue to infect it. Finally, there were also some planes which neither had purple nor red clouds, but were shrouded by a layer of green energy. It gave a feeling of vitality which could nurture countless living beings, but also deathly stillness and despair at the same time. Li Yunmu carefully observed all the 66 planes one by one repeatedly. Gradually, 
he began to understand a few things by relying on what he was sensing. He also started to grasp what the color of each cloud shrouding a particular plane signified. Perhaps, there might be some mistakes in his analysis since it was based on instinct, but he could feel that his thought process was correct. If the planes with the highest concentration of purple cloud have the most formidable vitality, then those with red cloud are right behind them in vitality. Both of them signify that the particular plane is becoming more formidable. Gradually an expression of understanding appeared on Li Yunmu's face. He looked toward the 55th Earth, his homeland. Fortunately. Although his plane didn't have a thick concentration of purple clouds, the red clouds around it were extremely dense. If one looked at them carefully, they could also find hints of minute purple clouds coloring the red ones. After taking note of it, Li Yunmu could easily surmise that his homeland's comprehensive development wasn't lacking. Although it wasn't among the most formidable planes, it should be able to enter the first twenty. After reaching this conclusion, Li Yunmu breathed a sigh of relief. But he couldn't stay relaxed for a long time, since he quickly discovered something which caused him to wrinkle his brows. The black mist. Even after the sun had risen, his homeland still had a small ball of black mist. Although the effect of it was negligible on the vitality of the red clouds, but when Li Yunmu concentrated his attention on that small ball of black mist, he could clearly sense the malice coming from it. It was devastating news. Li Yunmu had only concentrated on the small ball of black mist for ten or so seconds when it seemed to have sensed him and surprisingly rushed toward him through the barrier between his earth and the origin world. Instantly, Li Yunmu felt like he had been attacked by a wave of destructive malice. But it was only a feeling. In reality, because of the barrier separating the two worlds, Li Yunmu hadn't been affected in the least. After a long time, Li Yunmu finally retracted his gaze and spoke in a blank voice. System, seems like there is some problem with our Earth. Yes, the system has performed repeated calculations. Based on the other planes infected by the black mist, the higher its amount, the more the red clouds seem filled with deathly aura the system solemnly replied. At that moment, be it Li Yunmu or the system, both of them didn't know what was happening within their homeland. What was the origin of the black mist? For a long while, Li Yunmu stayed silent. You don't need to worry too much about it. It's useless. The present you is still unable to influence your homeland's situation in the least. The system sensed that Li Yunmu's mood wasn't good and told him the facts without beating around the bush. Yes, my present strength is too weak. Li Yunmu balled his fists and cleared his head. But the desire for strength in his heart, which had started to decrease as his strength had increased, began to glow brightly again. He then turned toward Zheng Quan's homeland, the 25th plane. The vitality of Zheng Quan's plane was extremely formidable. Although the concentration of the purple clouds on it wasn't too great, but it was much denser than that of 55th Earth. The red clouds at the center were quickly changing to purple because of which the total concentration of purple around the 25th plane was much greater than the minute amount of purple specks around Li Yunmu's homeland. After a comparison with the other planes, Li Yunmu could determine that Zheng Quan's 25th plane had the qualifications to become the ninth most powerful Earth. In other words, it was one of the top 10 most prosperous existences among the 66 planes. Chapter 436, Creation of the Spatial Bridge After making a comparison of the planes, Li Yunmu breathed a sigh of relief. His homeland wasn't too inferior. Among the 66 planes, its comprehensive strength and vitality belonged to the upper layer. Only the black mist which would never disappear on its own became a thorn in his heart which he couldn't remove. System, that black mist breeding on our earth. What exactly is it? Li Yunmu's mind was in chaos. He couldn't understand what was the origin of the black mist. Insufficient information. The system's reply disappointed Li Yunmu. However, he had also somewhat expected it, after all, the system's database didn't have all the information in the world. It could only helplessly watch the objects and events which weren't recorded in its database. 
Seems like we can only investigate it slowly after returning to the Earth. Li Yunmiu paused for a moment, then his focus turned to the exciting aspect of the situation. The descenders from Zhang Quan's 25th plane had been much faster in gathering the information about the cave, compared to Earth's descenders, but Li Yunmi was actually the one who harvested the fruits from the sacrifices of their countless people. Given the vastness of the origin world, its countless deities, and innumerable dimensional spaces in its history, it was obvious that it wasn't only one heavenly earth for each plane. Although Li Yunmi guessed that he had reached his current position far faster compared to what could have been expected, he wanted to confirm the fact, and it would be enough for him. After that, he didn't continue looking at the numerous spherical objects, but quickly walked toward the center of the sacrificial altar. There, as Li Yunmi had expected, there were altogether seven sacrificial portals. They led to second plane, twenty-fifth plane, fifty-third plane, fifty-fifth plane as well as another three worlds from the sixty-six planes. Once Li Yunmi saw it, he balled his fists, he had won the gamble. No wonder then that Zheng Chuan and him had both chosen to join Blue Moon Island. It seemed that Heavenly Path had already been opened underneath the cave which connected to both the 25th plane and 55th plane. In other words, the master of the underground cave had not only explored his homeland, but also went to Zheng Quan's plane and even the second as well as 53rd plane. It had to be said that the master of the underground cave had truly possessed marvelous abilities. But once Li Yunmi thought about it, he found it quite normal. Clearly, the master of the cave had been an extremely formidable ancient god who far surpassed the other ancient god, otherwise, how would he have been able to ignore the rules of the cave and bury the vantage point of the heavenly path there? Without any hesitation, Li Yunmi walked to the 55th plane's sacrificial portal. Since it had already been opened, he didn't need to prepare a large offering to establish a portal. In other words, as long as he could get enough energy, he could return to Earth. The most crucial moment had arrived, and Li Yunmi couldn't control himself from excitement. It had been three years since he had descended, so God only knew what was the situation on Earth. He took out dimensional stones and began to place them in the positions to open the sacrificial portal to the 55th plane. One stone, two stones, ten stones, twenty stones, 30 stones, 40 stones, 50 stones, 55 stones when Li Yunmi offered the 55 high-quality dimensional stones, the 55th spherical point, far to the edge of the void, began to glow brightly. It then began to grow larger and started coming closer. At that moment, Li Yunmi witnessed the most mystical scene of his life. A spatial bridge stretched out from the 55th plane portal to the sacrificial altar, connecting the 55th plane and the origin world. Success! Li Yunmi hadn't expected that everything would proceed so smoothly. After making the offering, he also understood why his homeland was given the number 55. The reason behind it was that he needed to use that many high-level dimensional stones to open a spatial bridge toward it. What terrifying amount of energy it was! An ordinary dimensional stone could be used eight or ten times for teleportation. A mid-grade dimensional stone could be used over a hundred times. And a high-grade dimensional stone? It could be used a thousand times. And he had to use fifty-five such high-grade dimensional stones to open the spatial bridge to Earth. Even if Battle Sage Vega was extremely rich and had prepared many resources for him, she had been able to give him only a hundred high-grade dimensional stones. Li Yunmi had already used one of them for teleporting, after he had just arrived in the origin world. But even then, that dimensional stone would still last him for a long time. Yet at that moment he had used 55 dimensional stones in one breath to connect the altar with the 55th plane. Although Li Yunmi's heart ached greatly, his main aim for descending had finally been achieved. He thought for a while, but then couldn't resist stepping on the spatial bridge. The moment his right foot landed and he was about to return to Earth, an anxious voice suddenly reached his ears, causing him to stop. Wait, wait you cannot return now. When Li Yunmi heard those words, he felt a chill all over his body. Instantly, he became armed to the teeth. 
the three pieces of Azure Dragon Deity suit which he hadn't used in a long time appeared once more, because he already knew who was the owner of that voice. It was none other than the remnant will which he had captured with the void disc and placed in his heavenly world. Relax, if had the power to escape from your two restrictions, I would have done so long ago. All I want to say is that you definitely cannot return to Earth now. The voice spoke again, but this time, it was extremely feeble. If not for Li Yunmiu focusing his whole attention on listening to it, he would have probably not even heard it. Why shouldn't I return to my homeland? Why should I believe you? Li Yunmiu asked with a cold smile, not relaxing his guard in the least. Because if you return now, you will cause a disaster. You could bring a catastrophe to your world I've exhausted my strength, so if you want to know why, then come in. The remnant will used up all of its strength and its voice disappeared. Chapter 437, Surrender Li Yunmiu stood in place for a long time with a gloomy expression. Host, let's see what he has to say the system suggested to Li Yunmiu after a while, but he still didn't move. At that moment, he was really unhappy. Although the remnant will was far inferior to the master of the cave, it was still an existence which was truly powerful when compared with Li Yunmiu. It was just a wisp of its former self, but it had still been able to forcefully pass through the restriction of Void Disc and his heavenly world, watching his every move. This both shocked and terrified Li Yunmiu to his core. Luckily, even if the remnant soul was extremely powerful, it could only accomplish that much. If Li Yunmiu wanted to disregard everything and step on the spatial bridge to return to Earth, he could do that. And he wanted that more than anything else. But given that the remnant soul had stopped him right when he was about to do it, he was eerily certain that if he didn't take the step forward but entered his heavenly world to understand what was happening, he wouldn't be able to return for a long time. But the system's reminder cooled Li Yunmiu's mind. His reason returned and he ruthlessly spit out, all right. The next instant, he entered his heavenly world. Once he entered did so, he looked at the enormous void disc hanging in the sky. It was still rotating and confining the remnant will, so it was certain that the remnant will hadn't escaped. But although it was only a wisp, its original body had definitely been extraordinary. Because of that, even if Li Yunmiu had placed it in his heavenly world, it was still able to peek its head out. When all was said and done, the level of Li Yunmiu's heavenly world was too low. Fortunately, he was only dealing with a wisp of the main soul, otherwise, he would have had no methods to restrain it. Li Yunmiu didn't talk any nonsense and directly voiced the main point. So why should I not return to my homeland? First, let me introduce myself. I come from the ancient god era and my title is Undercurrent. Little guy, you cannot return to the 55th plane at this time because my main body has already awakened and is recovering there. If you return, he will immediately sense you and take your life, which would quicken his recovery this outcome would be catastrophic both to you and your homeland. The remnant Will's voice had returned to normal from the weakened stated earlier. His words were completely to the point and Li Yunmiu felt a sharp sword being thrust into his heart. His intuition had come true. For a moment, he fell silent. He was aware that whether it was the master of the cave or the main body of the remnant will, both of them were at a level which he was unable to imagine. But he hadn't expected that even with such thoughts he would still be underestimating the remnant will's existence. Ancient God Era was an extremely old time in the history of the origin world. According to the data collected by the system in the library of Whale City, it had passed 12,000 years ago. And even further in the past compared to the ancient god era was the ancient Eon. That was right, the measuring unit was Eno and not Era, an entire Eon. After the many years, there weren't any written records of that period. If the remnant will in front of him had given a truthful introduction, then it was an ancient god that belonged to the ancient period which had stronger people compared to the deities to the present origin world. Beings recognized as true ancient god in the origin world were not only higher existences than the deities, they were also much more knowledgeable and powerful. If the remnant will got out into the origin world, 
it would definitely create many waves. But Li Yunmi wasn't an idiot. The other party had introduced itself as an entity which everyone would look up to, but in reality, Li Yunmi was extremely clear about what sort of existence it was. In pleasant words, it was a senior ancient god. But in unpleasant words, it was just a wisp of a soul which had separated from an ancient god. Once because of how terrifying that ancient god was could it develop its own consciousness after countless years. Wrong, you are indeed from ancient god age, but you don't have any ancient god title or any divine abilities. You are only wisp of a remnant soul which had separated from the main body. So quickly tell me everything you know about this matter as well as share all the knowledge you collected during your years of life. If you do so, I will let you remain alive, otherwise, I will proceed according to my original plan and refine you into a tonic for my ape gods. Li Yunmiu's voice was calm, but there was a hint of anger beneath his calmness. He wasn't feeling well. Even if it was anyone else in his place who was just about to return to his homeland but was forcibly stopped by someone with a nonsensical reason, they also wouldn't be able to remain in a good mood. If the remnant will continued with the arrogance of an ancient god and put on airs, Li Yunmi would immediately refine it to cultivate an ancient battle ape god. All right, you win. Damn it, you are a complete opposite of a normal descender. Your knowledge about the origin world surpasses what you should know by way too much. The remnant soul had very sharp instincts and instantly understood Li Yunmiu's thoughts. Its plan to act like the main body and intimidate Li Yunmiu was abandoned without a second thought. You better spit out everything you know. Why should I not return to Earth and why is your main body near my plane? Why did you say just now that it would come to capture me? Else you will certainly die. I will erase every trace of your existence in this world, Li Yunmiu stated in a cold voice. In his eyes, there were no deities or gods. After being influenced by the system's concept of absolute power, he held nothing else in his mind but it. And at that moment he knew that he was in complete control. With his strength, he didn't need to care about what sort of remnant soul was the other party. If it didn't surrender, it should just die. After his ultimatum, the remnant will surrendered, which clearly proved that deities weren't any unimaginable existences. As long as one had enough strength to grasp their fate, the so-called deities would be nothing better than trash. The remnant will gradually told everything it knew to Li Yunmiu. Once it did so, Li Yunmiu finally understood what was happening. He also found out from where the black mist which affected his homeland had come. Chapter 438, My Name is Flowing Wind The black mist originated from the main body of the remnant will. Since Li Yunmiu had supplemented the flaw in his flux points after descending, he had almost an identical constitution to a native of the origin world. Because of that, if he returned to his earth, it was highly possible that he would become the most ideal target for the remnant will's main body to seize. Why would he be the most ideal target? Because the main body of the remnant will was from the origin world. Slowly, Li Yunmiu understood everything. He would have never expected that the black mist around his homeland was surprisingly because of an ancient god's deity soul which had existed for more than 10,000 years, according to the remnant will. As a result, not only he, but other descenders like Hai Yu, Zi Hanbei, or Man Tian also couldn't return to Earth. Otherwise, if undercurrent's deity soul seized a fully compatible body, the consequences would be disastrous. After all, there was no one on earth who could resist an ancient god that had lived for more than 10,000 years. But that raised another question. Since the remnant will was a wisp of the deity soul and a part of undercurrent, why was it trying to obstruct Li Yunmiu's return which would be favorable to the god? In a blink, 200 years passed since I had been separated on this island so as to make preparations for the main body to return to the origin world. But by now, I am no longer part of God Undercurrent. I am complete, and I have also chosen a name for myself. My new name is God Flowing Wind. The remnant will seem to have sensed Li Yunmiu's suspicion and calmly spoke without a hint of yearning in its tone. However, its reply attracted a secret ridicule from Li Yunmiu. 
even a wisp of deity's soul dares to call itself God. Is the title of a god worth so little? But he slowly realized what the opponent was thinking. A long time had passed since flowing wind, a wisp of a deity soul had separated from the ancient god, and it had gradually developed its own personality. Given that it had developed its own thoughts and feelings, it naturally wasn't willing to become part of someone else again. The remnant will's vain attempt at calling itself god flowing wind and becoming a whole new person had almost reached fruition. If the will power of Yan and the other three hadn't crumbled and they would have reached the mausoleum, the remnant will would have certainly seized the body of one of them. After gaining flesh, it then would have been able to escape from the island and become a fish in the ocean. Afterwards, as long as God Undercurrent didn't return to the origin world and Flowing Wind didn't meet someone who could restrict him, his life wouldn't have been hard. With the help of the ancient God's deity soul's essence, he might have become a new powerhouse in the origin world after a couple decades. But because of Li Yun Mu's existence, his plans had been crushed and he had been defeated. He had been unable to seize any body and had been forced to reveal the secret of heavenly path to an outsider. Actually, I find it very strange. I destroyed your plans just when you were about to succeed, so don't you hate me? You were surprisingly kind enough to stop me from going to Earth so that I wouldn't be caught by your main body, Li Yunmu said while focusing his gaze on the void disk in the sky. I didn't have a choice. I hate you. I hate you more than anything in this world, but I don't want to let God Undercurrent recover because of you. I am not willing to return to my main body. No way. Regardless of what happens, I am not willing to become part of the main body once again. I am complete, absolutely perfect. Self-proclaimed God flowing wind started mumbling nonsensical phrases to itself. Li Yunmi wondered if the deity soul had been affected by remaining in the desolate cave for a long time. Or was it just that terrified of its main body? Perhaps both of the reasons had affected him somewhat, but what mattered to Li Yunmi was that he finally understood the true thoughts of the remnant will. It seemed to be more afraid of confronting God undercurrent and assimilating with him than being refined by Li Yunmi. After all, if it assimilated with the main body, it would lose all traces of having existed in the origin world. He has developed an extreme personality and is not willing to acknowledge his incomplete existence, which has created a large shadow over his heart. In this whole world, there's no one who would the despise God undercurrent more than him. Host can exploit this point to make him serve you. The system had made a quick analysis and found the fatal weak point of God flowing wind. Sure enough, the opponent was shaking fiercely. The system's analysis seemed to really point at the weakest point of flowing wind which Li Yubni hadn't even thought about before. Although it was only a wisp of deity soul and didn't possess any flesh, Li Yunmi could clearly sense all its reactions within his heavenly world. Impossible, impossible, you are too weak. If not for that treasure as well as a few other things which gave me a little fright, I would have come to possess you without trouble. God Flowing Wind was startled for a moment, then he fiercely howled. Ha ha, there are no absolutes in this world. According to you, I am as weak as an ant in front you, but then I shouldn't have been able to obtain the inheritance of the dimensional space. And if I had really been that weak, I wouldn't have been able to confine you, even destroying your hope of countless years, but I have been able to accomplish all that. Li Yunmu said in a self-confident and high-spirited tone. Besides, you don't have any options. You only have one choice, for I am the only person who can grant your wish. In the future, there might even come a day when I will return you your freedom and allow you to truly complete yourself, Li Yunmu promised calmly in an enchanting voice like a devil. Although the other party knew that the possibility of this happening wasn't very high, it still couldn't resist the temptation. Chapter 439 exchange for infant soul preservation. However, when all was said and done, it was a wisp of deity soul of God undercurrent. If it hadn't developed a heart devil because of regret, how could Li Yunmu entice it? How could you defeat ancient God undercurrent? How would you dare to release me? I don't trust you. Don't take me for your stupid companions. 
I have far more experience compared to them. I will give you some time to think about it. If I have your assistance and one day am able to kill God Undercurrent, then why would I be scared of releasing you so you can complete yourself? Li Yunmi raised his head and glanced at the other party from the distance without saying anything more. The next instant, he left the heavenly world and returned to the sacrificial altar. He decided to take some precautions. Before leaving the heavenly world, he meticulously utilized its power and reinforced the sealing power of Void Disk. He worked until the formidable fluctuations coming from the innately formidable remnant soul were no longer able to pass through the two barriers of heavenly world and Void Disk to sense what was happening in the outside world. After that Li Yunmi returned to the sacrificial altar where he stood for a long time, silently gazing at the 55th Earth. After a long while, he sighed faintly. System, I truly can't return to my homeland now. That's why, host, you must continue growing stronger. Trust this, as long as you continue to increase your power and gain absolute strength, then both deities and ancient gods will be nothing but trash in front of you. Seems like we can only take that way and quickly increase my strength, Li Yunmu answered without expressing any specific opinion. However, his gaze subconsciously floated to the other planes which were also infected by the black mist. There were a total of twelve such planes including his homeland. Among them, around the plane with the highest concentration of black mist, the green energy signifying the vitality had been overshadowed by the endless black mist. Even if Li Yunmu hadn't visited that place, he could still sense the malicious deathly air radiating off it. The 46th plane is hopeless, he said faintly. It was possibly the future of the 55th Earth, but it also implied that unexpectedly twelve ancient gods from more than 10,000 years ago were roaming among the 66 planes. These ancient gods, what exactly are they thinking? And these different planes, what sort of existences are they? Why do they attract the ancient gods into leaving the origin world to enter them? Also, the ancient gods like God Undercurrent, what sort of price do they have to pay to travel to them and what exactly had they experienced that they only regained their consciousness after 200 years? What sort of existence could have suppressed an ancient god to the extent that they would be forced to stay dormant for such a long time? Apart from the above questions, there were many other unsolved mysteries which Li Yunmi wanted to know about. But all of it was related to God Undercurrent and only he could answer them. Li Yunmi was confident that even Battle Sage Vega wouldn't know much about a secret of this magnitude. Seems like there's no way I can return to Earth anytime soon. If I returned now, then be it the recovering God Undercurrent or the quasi deities of Earth, I would be nothing more than a chess piece in front of all of them given my strength. After gazing into the void for a long time, Li Yunmiu calmed his desire to return to Earth. System, temporarily stop researching the method to create flux binding pill. What I need right now are space elements. Li Yunmiu suddenly commanded the system to halt its previous research. All right, but researching the method to gather space elements will probably take longer than researching the method to refine a flux binding pill. Given the system's execution speed, it will take from 87 to 120 days the system replied after some thought. This time period cannot be regarded as a long time. Start immediately, the target of research has been changed. Yes, the system will immediately carry out the commands. The next instant, the progress bar for flux binding pills research in Li Yunmu's consciousness C dropped away. The research was stopped at 40% which was the result of the system's work in the past couple days. That progress bar was substituted by a new one which displayed the progress of researching space elements which would take around 80 days if everything went smoothly or up to 4 months if any problems arose. Well then, it's time for us to leave this place. Li Yunmiu made his decision. The sacrificial altar in the underground cave had 7 open pathways. Four of them were connected to four planes while another two were connected to some unknown worlds which Li Yunmi didn't recognize. As for the last one, Li Yunmi recognized it since it was connected to the origin world. Suddenly, Li Yunmi waved his hand. Now that you are witnessing everything from the sacrificial altar, I wonder what you are thinking. 
it really is the legendary sacrificial altar connected to the pathways of heaven. A sentimental voice came from Li Yun Mu's side. Complicated emotions could be heard in it. That's right. On top of that, this heavenly bridge in front of us leads right back to our homeland. As long as I step on it, I can complete the lifelong dream of the Quasi deities. Li Yunmu looked indifferently at Ye Ching. No, if being more accurate, he looked at the mortal soul of Ye Ching. After several months of cultivating Ghost King's body refining secrets, it had gained a lot more substance, and even its voice sounded much firmer in Li Yunmu's mind compared to before. Clearly, Ghost King's body refining secrets was an extremely suitable technique for such a life form. Li Yunmu was convinced that as long as Ye Qing was given some more time, his mortal soul would gain form to the extent of being able to affect the real world. This meant that it would become an existence which could no longer be neglected by the laws of the world. Li Yunmu, I truly have underestimated you many times. Before this, I wasn't willing to be outdone by you, but now I am convinced that your destiny is one of its kind among millions and millions of people. You surprisingly achieved this so quickly. Ye Qing's mortal soul seemed somewhat sad at that moment. The time Li Yunmu took to find the sacrificial altar was far less than what anyone could expect. He had discovered it so quickly that Ye Qing was left speechless. Do you know what this is? Li Yunmu suddenly took out a source manuscript which had devil soul refinement imprinted on it. Once Ye Qing saw it, his breathing immediately quickened. I want infant soul preservation. In exchange, this one and Ghost King's body refining secrets will be yours. Li Yunmu's expectant gaze fell upon Ye Qing's mortal soul which was a few steps away from becoming corporeal. Chapter 440, Ye Qing's Assistance Ye Qing looked at Li Yunmu in shock before saying, During the short time I didn't see you, you have already become so formidable. Although the Ghost King's body refining secrets have been good for me, I will never be able to escape from your heavenly world in my lifetime, so what's the use of anything? Suddenly, he smiled coldly. I am finished with this life, completely finished. Ye Qing looked around his surroundings. The spatial bridge connecting to 55th plane was in front of him. As long as he rushed onto it, he could return to Earth within three seconds. However, he also knew that Li Yunmu could retake complete control of the situation in less than three seconds. Thus, Ye Qing didn't try do anything. He was in complete despair at that moment. You aren't finished. When my strength has increased to the level that I will no longer be influenced by you leaking information about me, I will give your freedom back to you. How could Li Yunmu allow Ye Qing to fall into complete despair? Infant soul preservation had been very important for him before, but after learning about God Undercurrent, it had become even more so. It would show him how to form the foundation for mortal soul's cultivation. After cultivating it, his mortal soul would turn into a dragon from a fish. Without it, even if he possessed countless cultivation methods similar to Ghost King's body refining secrets, he'd be unable to use even one of them. Thus, Li Yunmu naturally gave a bit of hope to Ye Qing. Really? A hint of excitement flashed in Ye Qing's eyes. I guarantee this on my family's honor. Li Yunmu said only one line, but it was sufficient to convince Ye Qing. After all, the proverb that the person who could understand you the best is your enemy was quite famous. There weren't many people who understood Li Yunmu as deeply as Ye Qing. When Ye Qing was on Earth, he had thought of countless ways to deal with Li Yunmu. He well understood that all the words coming out from the other's mouth might be false and couldn't be taken seriously since who knew when they might have a fallout and turn hostile against one another, but his family's honor was an exception. Li Yunmu would never joke around with it. In truth, Li Yunmu was quite sincere with his vow. All right, we will exchange the cultivation methods. Ye Qing didn't think much. His mind was shaken because of Li Yunmu's words. He could see that Li Yunmu had already opened the heaven's path, so the chances of him obtaining his freedom had also increased greatly. That was why he didn't hesitate and quickly accepted to exchange the extremely important infant soul preservation. 
Li Yunmiu breathed a sigh of relief, finally he had settled this difficult problem. He immediately took out the Devil Soul Refinement, and they exchanged their cultivation methods. When Li Yunmiu finally obtained the Soul Preservation from Ye Ching, he became extremely joyous. It hadn't been easy for him to obtain it. Although infant soul preservation didn't belong to the ranks of the best cultivation methods in the world, it was definitely of the most uncommon cultivation techniques. It was one of those which rarely had a proper systematic cultivation as described in them. At least he still hadn't heard about anything that had any relation to a person's mortal soul during his long stay in the origin world. After obtaining infant soul preservation, it was also going to become much easier for him to convince God Flowing Cloud. He had good reason to believe that if he showed the cultivation method to God Flowing Cloud, the other party's hesitation in serving him would definitely break instantly. All right, now you can return to the heavenly world and wait for me to mature. When the time comes, I will honor my commitment. After obtaining infant soul preservation method, Li Yunmiu quickly requested for Ye Ching to leave. The two of them were mortal enemies. Without any chance for great benefits, Li Yunmi wouldn't have released him. But since he had used his family's honor to guarantee his promise, he wouldn't go back on his words. It was his only bottom line. Just when Li Yunmi was about to wave his hand to return Ye Ching to the heavenly world, the youth spoke anxiously. Wait a minute, I have something else which could assist you. Oh. Li Yunmiu couldn't understand it. Now that he had already found the method to return to Earth by relying on himself, what assistance could Ye Ching provide him? He was quite curious and stopped his actions. I don't think that you know it, but this sacrificial altar can also establish a bridge with your heavenly world, Ye Ching suddenly said. What do you mean? After hearing Ye Ching's words, Li Yunmiu thought of something, and his body trembled. Precisely what you are thinking. I know a method to establish a link between your heavenly world and this sacrificial altar, Ye Ching unwillingly said. Just as Li Yunmi was unwilling to release him, but could only promise to release him in exchange for the infant soul preservation, he also didn't want to assist him, but to obtain his freedom as quickly as possible and escape from the prison of the heavenly world, he was willing to assist Li Yunmi as much as possible. After that, he taught his mortal enemy a special method to operate the sacrificial altar. Under his guidance, Li Yunmiu offered a couple extremely rare objects as sacrifice. The altar seemed to be satisfied with his offering and began to release a bright light as response. Good, now give it the coordinates of your heavenly world. Since it is satisfied, it will naturally allow you to open a passage to your heavenly world, Ye Ching said anxiously. Without saying anything, Li Yunmiu followed his words to the dot. The next instant, an unremarkable point in the void began to shine brightly. Gradually, an extremely small spatial bridge compared to the grand heavenly bridge connected to the 55th plane shot out from it. Wei Ao, it succeeded. Li Yunmiu was pleasantly surprised. Go, he then said to Ye Ching. The other nodded and went to the small spatial bridge on which he quickly disappeared. After a short while, Li Yunmiu closed his eyes to sense the heavenly world. He immediately sensed Ye Ching's existence inside. The young man had really returned to the heavenly world through the small spatial bridge. It was an extremely mystical event, a mystery among mysteries. Li Yunmiu then also stepped onto the small spatial bridge. In a blink of an eye, he found himself in his heavenly world. It was the first time he had returned to it without using his authority as the master of the heavenly world. I would have never expected that divine religion knew so much about the origin world. Li Yunmiu gave Ye Ching a deep look. Even if they knew more, it was all useless. Divine religion had also never expected that all of its plans would be broken because of an unremarkable chess piece like you. Ye Ching looked at Li Yunmiu with an odd gaze. He had never believed in miracles, but now he was convinced that they existed. 